Hi and welcome back to It's a Miracle Budgeting. My name is Brandy and I'm a cash budgeter. I am paid bi-weekly and I do cash stuff and saving fund stuff every single paycheck. So I am married. I do live with my husband and three of our six kids. Three are on their own. Three live at home. One soon to be leaving for college this Christmas or just after Christmas. But we do not budget together. We have been together 22 years. We have never budgeted together and if it's not broke we are not going to fix it. So first thing I'm going to do is my little tiny miniature envelopes. All of my my cash envelopes are from Happily Ever Plans. My cash tray and all binders and envelopes are at, of my city funds are actually from my shop and it is linked down in the box. So first thing we're going to do is my spare just has the 10 that I do leave in here. I do not touch this unless I have to, but if for some reason I'm out, a card doesn't work, whatever, I always like having, I used to always keep a 20 in my little pocket and that's what this is for. If I do get winnings or anything extra dollars from my coat pocket old purse whatever I do put them in here but this week this was I didn't get anything so I'm just rotating my same 10 over I did not get any fives in my change this week and then ones I got three ones so technically I actually did get I'll show you it right now I did get some change that I don't have in there normally if I give someone a 20 and they give me change and let's say there's a five and three ones I automatically put those in my ones challenge on my fives challenge but the exception to that is gas and food because sometimes you just need a gallon of milk sometimes you just need something small so I don't roll those over but in food if I empty my cash envelopes and groceries I have five six seven eight nine and this is going to go to my fives and my ones challenge and groceries is getting 150 and I just do 50s. We've pretty much consistently been going over on food and I'm trying to really cut back. So I might move that back to being a debit transaction so that way I can purchase online. Dining has zero left and dining gets a 20. And then miscellaneous. Miscellaneous actually has 10 left and it's going to get 10. So I normally would just kind of keep it, but because I do move my leftovers over and actually I just realized something, I don't want those two fives are going in a different pile because I put my cash envelopes that roll over. I actually put into my house cash. So I'm going to put that there. So that was miscellaneous. Fuel, we have 20 left. So I'm going to put that in my house cash pile. And fuel is getting 50. I do two 20s and two 5s. I typically do 25 each time I get gas. The last time I did do um, 30 last time, but I do try to do 25 each time. So fuel, subscriptions. I do not roll subscriptions over. And I'm adding a 20. So I have 20, 40, 60. I'm actually putting money towards one of my monthly subscriptions like Apple Music, but I also have a Disney Plus subscription coming up at the end of the year. I do do it annually. So I am trying to accumulate as much as I can in that envelope. Spending has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That is what I put in it. So did not spend that. And I am going to do 20 this week. Trying to decide if I want to use smaller bills, but no, I'm good. And then household has, those are just for bank. And then I also have back there coin and like receipts and stuff. 5, 10, 15, 20. So I'm going to set this aside for right now and get it out of the way. And then we'll do that when I get to house cash. So household is getting 20, I believe. Yes. And that is it for my cash envelopes. So if I go into my family, but I've been experimenting because I never did cover labels. And so I don't currently offer these in my store. But if you want, I can either send them to you or I can do something for you. If you do want it, we can work something out. If you PM me, we can actually work on that. But I haven't offered it in the store yet because I'm still getting used to the different like types of covers and the different vinyl does different um, applications so I'm just getting used to them. So kids is going to get 10. And I did two fives. I have a lot of fives because my ATM at my bank does not have tens and I did not have time to go from work today to the actual teller. Um, grandsons is also going to get 10 so again doing two fives. Thank 
school is getting 10 as well, I believe it is. Two fives. Birthdays always gets $25. Every single paycheck that I have gets 25. So we now have 50, 75 in birthdays. Our next birthday is my husband is at the end of October. So I should have more than enough by the time his birthday comes around. Beauty, I got my hair done this week and my nails. So it is completely empty and it is getting 75. I actually used some of my house cash for my hair because I didn't want to put on a credit card and it was there. And I haven't got my hair done in over six months. So I said, you know what? I got 90 in beauty and the rest is coming out of the house cash. Pets has $20 going in and we have 20, 40, 60 in here now. 60 is how much my Chewy orders typically are. So I may skip the next couple weeks and um, just let that sit till I'm ready for a Chewy order. We are fully stocked right now. Medical is getting 40. I am juicing this up a little bit right now because my um, FSA is almost empty. So I will end up with 60. I am not able to get these open today. I don't know what my deal is. So that is it for our family binder. Next is our household binder. So house cash, I'm going to pull out what we have in here now and then we can add what we have. So over here, I have, let's see, that's a 10. So pulled out of my cash envelopes, I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So if I put this all together, I have 10, 25, 35, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20. So I have 120 in house cash now, which is one of the lowest I've had in a payday, but my cash envelopes don't have to roll. They are able to be spent in full if I need to. Oops, and I do this every single time. I do take 25 out of this to put in month ahead. So in month ahead, we now have... 50, 70, 80, 95, 100. So we hit our first 100 in month ahead. This is one I know is going to slow build, but I already do my insurance, my sell, things like that, my loan payment. I already do um, half and half each time. So I'm just trying to work it towards where I can pay the month prior for the next month. So that's my goal. Clothing is getting 20. And then car expenses, this is another one I need to zhuzh up, so I am adding 40 instead of 20. So I have 50, 1, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3. My first repair, I actually need close to $1,000 in repairs, but my first repair on my car is about $356. So if this gets a little bit closer, I may just go get it done and put on my credit card and then pay it off because I don't want to keep waiting. It can mess up my suspension. So car tags is getting 10 and I'm just going to do two fives. So that is $60 total in car tags. My birthday is in August, so I have almost a whole year to collect this. So I'm not super worried about it. When it hits $350, I will stop stuffing it. Home is getting $20. So home has $70. I recently redid my shower curtain, the rod, the curtain, the liner, everything. And so that blew some money out of there. Vacation is getting $20. Oops, I just sealed it instead of unsealing it. And that is going to give us 60. This is we're going to St. Louis in December, so I am now saving for that. To take our son down for his first semester of college. He decided to wait till winter semester. So I'm not currently using these, so I don't need to do anything else in that binder. 
Next is our savings binder. This is like household savings, things like that. So if you watch my previous cash stuffing, I did recently find out I had a debt I didn't realize I had. So this is going towards that. It's for when I was on Social Security seven years ago. They overpaid me. And so I'm waiting for my final statement. I've not received it yet. I have 50 in here and I'm adding 25 for a total of 75. I'm going to try to add 50 most paydays, so maybe I can have a nice little chunk to pay on it when they finalize my statement. Savings is getting 50. So 50, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, so 106. And this isn't like my savings account. This is additional savings. Emergency fund, in case you're new to my channel, I do have a 1000 um, dollar savings fund in the bank and I use cute little Yodas for my bills. Not for my 500 because I can't find them but I do use it for my thousand dollar slips and this is getting 25. Should I get a different five? So that is 75 in emergency fund. I did talk about my last cash stuffing that I did recently loan someone money. They're in a pretty tough spot. I don't think I'm going to get it back. So I'm just counting it as gone and it'll be a blessing if it comes back because I know she's in a tough position. So next I have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving does always get 20. So in Thanksgiving we have 51, 52, 50, 70, 80. So 280 in Thanksgiving. Next is Santa, and Santa is going to be getting 150. So we have 50, 1, 50. And we have a thousand in the bank already. So now, oops, breaking stuff. 1, 2, 50, 3, 50, 4, 50. So 450 in here, 1450, including the bank. Holiday gets five. I did just spend this on um, Labor Day. So that one gets five. Gifts is like birthdays. It gets 25 every single time. This can be for birthdays for people outside the home. So gifts for me and my usage is not Christmas. It is gifts like for, it could be Christmas presents, but for people outside the home. So um, white elephant gifts for work parties, friends I want to buy gifts for, things like that. So birthdays is for our immediate family. So now in gifts we have 125. So now I am saving for my holiday gifts for my work and things like that later this year. And then planner goodies is getting 20. This I've said in the previous video I've already bought all my goodies for 2022. This is purely buying sticker things and like that. And when you if you order from my site if you want them to be more random like I like this one like how it's purposely like that. I think there's another one in here like that too. Emergency fund I did diagonals. So if you like that I can do that. Just put a note in the checkout when you check out. Nothing is going to tech. But if you make a note in the checkout um, I can do that for you. And then I've been practicing again with my covers. I don't like my V, but I actually really liked how this came out. It came out really cute. This one is available in my shop too, like the rest of them. And then it's newer though, so it doesn't like to lay down. So 52 week challenge. My two numbers were 27 and 23 to total. Wait, that's not right. Hold on a second. It's 12, 7, and 23 to total 42. So I've already done 1,000. I use this to pay. I was paying off my car loan. Now I have a consolidation loan. So now I'm paying that off. So we're going to do 40. 1, 2. So now in 52 week challenge, we have 152, 20, 40, 60, 70. 5, 76, 77, 78. So 278 in 52 week challenge. And I haven't mentioned this in a video in a while. So if you haven't watched my old ones, I don't use paper trackers. I actually use an app and I'll grab that app really quick. It is called Simple Budget and it actually looks just like this. 
you can, let me see if I can get it to pick up. You can label cash envelopes. I color code mine depending what binder they go in. So because I track them digitally, I don't actually worry about keeping a paper in here. And then if I'm gone, I know what's going on too. So there's the other thousand that went to my car alone previously. And one case savings challenge has numbers nine and 14, which is 25. So we have 50, 1, 50, 70, 90, 5, 2, 5, 6, 7. So 207 in the 1K Savings Challenge. Girls Who Budget is always $40 per paycheck. It's actually $20 a week, but I get paid every two weeks. So it gets $40. So it has... 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, you messed that up, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, exactly. Save Opoly, my numbers were 20 and 25 and 19 to equal 64. And this should be 4, it is. So we have 50, 10, and 1s. So in Save we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, 265, 270, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So Save Apple, had 276. This is an extra one because this one's almost full. So I am just gonna throw these three ones as well as these four ones. So this was for my food, my groceries, and these were collected through the week as I used my cash. So I'm putting those in here. And my poor little lonely five is going in here. And then I have other, which is actually like my future savings. So that is $30. This actually had a, like $200 in it. I moved it over to my car because I need to get those repairs done. I may end up moving this, but I'm going to try not to. So that is it for that binder. I only have one fund left, and that is my business fund. So I'm currently not using most of this binder right now, but I will be soon. So I have 20, 5, 30, 5, 40. So that is it for my cash stuffing, guys. I hope if you like cash stuffings, you'll like, share, subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell for notifications. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are happy, healthy, and everything is good with your budget. Have a great night, guys.